Okay. So the next stage in furniture flipping is I want to dedicate an entire episode to staging. This week we're going to be staging the two furniture pieces that we've flipped so far. I think staging is not, it's not going to help us gain, it's not going to help us, it's not going to help us increase profit margins, I, I don't think, but it is going to make the listings look a lot nicer and it would also be good to build a portfolio. Um, so it'll make the portfolio look really nice. So that's the goal. When I'm not really, is this more for my own sanity? Um, I just need to know that it looks good. I just need it to look good. Okay, that's that's the whole point of this episode. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be painting the wall today. I already got a disapproving okay from my parents to paint their exterior wall. I'm gonna paint it white. This is a whole gallon, so it's more than enough to cover one wall that I want to use for a backdrop. So, and I, I gotta switch to my other camera. Um, or I'm, j I'm just gonna wing this filming. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna pour it this way. Okay, so obviously as you can tell we don't we don't care about the floor anymore. We don't care about the floor anymore. But that's okay because we picked up these two rugs. If we're mirrored. We picked up these two rugs off of a guy on marketplace. He was moving to France and so he was giving them away for free. Um, so we scored two big, they're big, obviously, as you can tell, they are almost the same height, a little bit shorter than me. So they're five feet, five feet. Uh, we'll find out how long it is. I haven't unrolled either of them yet. Um, he also gave me this oversized wooden trunk thing. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But, but it looks cool and it was free, so I took it. Um, so that's maybe something to look forward to in the future. Um, so yeah, we got these two rugs. Um, it's gonna cover up all the paint stains on the floor, so that'll be good. Um, okay, so before I start staging these two, um, I'm probably, let's see, probably gonna use the black one for the blue and the green one for the green, or black on green, no, definitely green on green. The chicken is staring at me, he's judging me. He looks so comfy there though show you guys a picture of him hey, look at him look at him judging me yeah you see that judgy chicken judgy rooster so I'm gonna get to staging these before the sun sets and I got my camera we're gonna take some nice shots Okay, so this is all the decor we're working with. Okay, so here we have a lamp 
that was gifted to me by a relative. She says I can use it for staging or just sell it on Marketplace. She doesn't care. It is huge. This is a placemat that I got for $3 at Ikea. This is a tray that I got for a dollar at a yard sale. Um, I did not buy this for the intention of staging. I bought this purely for myself because I thought it would be gorgeous as wall art. Um, but ever since I bought this, I've been obsessed with trays. I'm trying to find one in silver so that we can march, so that we can match silver hardware in future staging videos. But yeah, there's some, there's some, there's going to be, there's a lot of footage of me trying to find trays. Um, this is a set of books I picked up at the thrift store. I think they were $3 each, so $9 in total. Um, I picked this because it was a really nice little gold leaf detail. And we're trying to keep co our colors neutral with just black and white and hardware colors. This is a camera that I unboxed in my vlog. Um, so you, should, you, should go, you could go watch that. This is a picture frame that I spray painted white. And this is an artist that I really like that I saw in downtown LA. Um, I'll link him somewhere. Um, this is a vase that my mom had. Uh, she picked it up at a yard sale. I don't know how much, but it's just been sitting there. So I yoinked it. And we're going to use it. These are all the picture frames we picked up from estate sales and yard sales. These I know are in my vlog. Um, I don't know if we're going to use all these. I thought about flipping them, spray painting them. Like this one definitely needs to be spray painted, but I think we might just use this one maybe. This one's dirty though. Um, or this one. This one's the nicest one. This one's still boxed. So yeah, those are our options. And then I got my two plant babies here. Um, this guy isn't full enough. So I don't really want to use it because it's kind of gross with the dirt. If it was fuller, more leaves, then maybe. But this is starting to drape out real nicely, so I don't know. Um, but we can definitely use my snake plants here. They're very nice and nicely colored. And there are pebbles, so they look good. But yeah, those are all. Let's see if I accumulate more. Before I start staging, I just want to preface this by saying I do not have a degree in interior design. I do not know what I'm doing. Um, I can gauge what I think looks good and what I think is not working good and I can explain why it's working and why it's not working. That's about it. Okay, let's get these out of the way. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, look. Look at this shot. Yeah, it's kind of gross. But still kind of cinematic. Let's start with this guy because he's lighter. Also gotta do the generic standalone shots, angle shots and show that all the drawers are working and some close-up shots for the instagram first of all let's all agree that this lamp is not gonna work it's terrible for scale much better okay let's start with a frame maybe let's try layering Hmm. I kind of like how this is working though. Hmm. It needs a little more length. Oh no. I just realized why I'm so drawn to this. It's my fine arts training coming through. This arrangement would have been great for still life study. But I need this to look like furniture. Like it belongs in your house. So let's try to make this look more like a showroom and not whatever that was. 
Okay, a small picture frame is always good for scale. How about using the camera as a bookend? How about a plant? <gasps> the plant. We are getting somewhere now. And here is the final arrangement. I feel like the tray really highlights the gold handles, but it needed the frames to contrast its round shape. And the plant just be doing plant things. Ta-da! Did I do good? I think I did pretty good. Moving on to the next one, with a little help from my dad. Once again, let's start with the standalone shots, angle shots, and drawer shots. We already know that the plant does wonders, and that we want the gold tray to highlight the handles. This shouldn't take us too long this time since we already have an idea of what we're going for. Anyways, are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! I ended up taking the gold tray out because it just felt way too tall on top of a tall dresser. So I swapped it out for this vase that matches in color. I also grouped things together on purpose so that the top surface could feel more spacious and clean. What do you think? Did I do good? Okay, so we're gonna... So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to upload these pictures to my computer and do a little uh, Photoshop, not much Photoshop, just more color correcting, maybe some cropping just to clean it up a little bit. And then I will show you guys what the finished result is. 2000 years later. Oh my god, why haven't I finished this video yet? These are the final shots, just to show the functionality of the drawers by itself. These have already been color corrected, so let me break down how I color corrected it. So this is the original raw photo straight out of my camera. And the first thing I did in Photoshop was a adjustment layer of curves. Our goal is to try to get the walls as white as possible. And then the next goal is to try to color correct the blue. So I did a layer of vibrance. But then I felt like the tray was too white, was too shiny. And so we brought it back down with a layer of brightness and contrast. And that's the final comparison from the original raw to the final color corrected version. Same thing for the second one. Again, these have already been touched up. However, editing the green was slightly different than the blue. Starting with the raw photo, it was generally missing the rich color. So I added a layer of hue slash saturation but it wasn't quite right, so I also added a layer of vibrance just to bring the richness of the green back in. And here is a comparison from the original to the final result. Then I realized that I had a shot of the blue one in the exact same angle as the green, so I had to edit that one too. Starting with a layer of brightness slash contrast, again to get the wall as white as possible. And then another layer of vibrance, just to bring the richness of the blue back. And that's what it looks like next to each other. It looks a little more consistent, right? Yeah, you get the gist of it. Did I explain it right? Hopefully. Was that a good explanation? I don't know. Okay, it's been a while. My hair is short now, if that's a sign of the passage of time. 
Or maybe I cut my hair the next day after filming the last scene a year ago. We've upgraded. We have Canon, we have a mic. Oh, and we have this, a monitor to tell me if I'm in frame or not. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at catalogs of IKEA furniture, crate and barrel, restoration hardware, pottery barn, because what was difficult about staging a furniture piece compared to like decor styling or interior design is that you want to style or stage it where it emphasizes the furniture piece and highlights the furniture piece without taking away from it, you know? Because you don't want to like make the decor look so good that people think you're selling the decor instead of the furniture. So that was something that I had to do a little bit more studying, you know, just looking up, just look at pictures of Ikea and then figure out what you like and what you don't like, what's working, what's not working. So that's what my outcome was. For the green dresser, I didn't know how to price it because it took me a lot longer to make that one, to flip that piece because it was my first one and to price it, to actual price it with market price, it did not justify the number of hours. And I also didn't feel good selling that piece, knowing all those paint streaks that are on it. So I actually am using it now. It's in my room, but it's actually against the wall where the window is. And so when the window, the light comes in from the window, the light doesn't hit the dresser. And so you don't really see the paint streaks anymore and the, like the glare. So actually I feel like it doesn't bother me that much. Um, but yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable selling someone at market price, knowing that it's lower quality, but it's also the most amount of time I spent on a furniture piece. And so I just didn't know where the middle ground was for that. So it's mine now. But yeah, so noted for the future, paint streaks, not that big of a deal, unless it's going to be seen under the light. The blue dresser didn't know how to price it either because it was too small to be considered a dresser but it was too big to be considered an end table i priced it somewhere in between and i think it's too high because as of today it still has not sold but i still think that one's the best flip i've ever done kind of don't want to flip furniture anymore i enjoy flipping furniture but it's the i don't enjoy selling it and i don't enjoy the dependency. These pieces are so big and heavy that you basically are dependent on another individual to help you lift and carry. It's a hobby that relies on other people's schedule. For example, I can't get started until someone is at home to help me lift or carry. And then I really did not like the process of selling my furniture. It's really hard to put a price on something like this. On, on Facebook Marketplace to only end up with a bunch of people trying to scam you. You get all these people asking for your number and basically it's just an identity theft scam. And so I've decided to stop flipping furniture, but I do still have a lot of pieces accumulated in the garage. So we are going to finish those. I'm going to clear those out. So there will still be furniture flipping content just know that there is an end to them. And I do have a third flip done that I did finish last year. Um, I just need to get around to editing it. That will, that is coming. Um, hopefully we were able to put together some kind of outro. It's been a while since I've done an outro. How do I end videos? I don't know.